Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of rep representing multiplication and division. This is standard 3.5b in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 20 of the Redesign Practice Online Star Test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So Glenna will put the same number of candles into each of four cakes, about three boxes of candles. Each box is eight candles. Glenna will use all the candles, and what equation can we use? Holy cow, we've got candles, boxes, and cakes. All right, let's get our graph paper working here so we can make sense of this. So I'm going to use that graph feature. I'm going to expand it so I can use a much bigger. And let's make it a little bit more transparent. Let's increase it so... I can see the problem a little bit better behind it. I'll use this draw feature to start with. Glenn will put the same number of candles in each of four cakes. Okay, so same number of candles. So when we see same number, our brain should be shouting equal groups, same number. Sometimes they'll say just the same number. Sometimes they'll actually give you the number. They'll say there'll be six on each or 10 on each or something. When you see equal groups, that means we are dealing with multiplication or division, or possibly even both. So that's that's a clue for us. All right, we've got four cakes. So look, here's my four cakes. And I need candles on each cake, and it's going to be the same number. Okay. She bought three boxes of candles. Okay, you know what? Instead of doing that in red, let's change color. Let's make that blue. All right, three boxes of candles. So here are my cakes. Since every, to me everything's a box, so let me let me go ahead and label that cake, and then let's get my candles. Okay. All right, three boxes. I'll just do this. Here's a box. There's a box. There's a box. Each box has eight candles. Okay, each box has eight. So you see that once again. These are equal groups. So once you're looking for equal groups, you'll start seeing equal groups all over the place because there's the same number in each. All right, so I can either draw eight little you know, lines or I'll just do this. I'll just do eight, eight, eight. And then Glenn is going to use all the candles. So we need to find this the number of candles that Glenn should put on each cake. What do we say about that? Oh, we're just going to put the same number of candles. All right, so how many candles do I have? All right, let's just add this up, right? Okay, so 8 plus 8 plus 8, that's 24. Right, if I wanted to do a strip diagram, I could do it like this, right? It's going to kind of look like my boxes right there. I've got 8, 8, and 8, and there's my 24. So I need to put these 24 candles into these four cakes, okay? Um, so what I could do is I could take my total. You see how I kind of did that 24 into 3? Watch this. What if I did this? What if I took that same the same 24 and instead of dividing it into three groups of 8, I divided it into 4. And then my question is, would be how much would I get for each? All right. Uh, let me see. So that's going to be 24 divided by 4. And that's a factor. Now that's 6. All right, let's see. 6, 12, 18, 24. All right, that works. Oh, but I'm not even looking for 6. I'm looking for the equation. Okay, so what did I do? Well, the, everything is the 3 and the 8, so I did 8 plus 8 plus 8, but that was repeated addition. Repeated addition is also multiplication. So look at this. You see this right here? That's 8 plus 8 plus 8, but that's also 3 times 8. Okay, so 3 times 8, it could be A or D. And then what did I do with that 4 cake? So I divided it by 4 to get to my 6 instead of multiplying, so that's wrong. So it's going to be D.